All right, we have an interesting one here, something that we do all the time. I'm going to tell you what we do for this, why I do what I do, so that if you run into this, if this is your house, you know how to handle it. So water would collect up against the grass. A lot of times when cement work's done, things aren't pitched just right. It doesn't take much to all of a sudden hold water. We are replacing one of those peanut pipe styrofoam French drains. The homeowner had somebody put in catch basins with peanut pipe and it failed. And I just wanted to explain a little bit why this failed. This was not the right product for this particular install. We don't use styrofoam peanut pipe no matter what. We believe in a real French drain, a true French drain, and that's gravel. But what happens is when you put dirt on top of a styrofoam French drain, the weight of the dirt compresses the styrofoam, and then you lose all your voids. So now you can't move water. So that's what happened here. They put in the styrofoam French drain and the catch basins, and they put the dirt on top. And then, of course, you know, cars are going to drive off the edge of the driveway as well. So once it's compacted and all those styrofoam, you know, poly rocks, they call them, are compressed, there's no more void. Unlike real stone, where you can pile dirt on top of it in a nice burrito wrapped, contained, you know, non-woven geotextile filter fabric, you can drive over that with a car. You're not going to compress real rock and lose your voids. It's not going to happen, especially if you have round rock. Now, if you have crushed stone, crushed stone will compress. That's the one negative to crushed stone. If it's a real big crushed stone, you're fine. But this is the NDS Styrofoam French Drain. Look at that. Unfortunately, this homeowner had to pay twice to get his drainage problem solved. We're going to replace this styrofoam French drain with a corrugated pipe and inch and a half round rock. You know, we're going to go ahead and line the trench with a non-woven geotextile filter fabric. We are going to go ahead and install some blind inlets. If you want to know more about blind inlets, I've made several videos on them. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you could, what is a blind inlet? How to install blind inlet on YouTube? You'll find all that. I will show you Francisco putting in a couple blind inlets and what the finished product looks like uh, here towards the end because we're going to go through the whole install of this. But right now we're just trying to remove this old French drain system. You know, some additional dirt because they're, they're really small. A styrofoam French drain is not very big in diameter. If I remember right, when we did a bunch of testing and we had to give the dimensions for all of our videos when we were having some fun with this drain, it's only seven inches in diameter. Can you believe that? Only seven inches. And you got a four inch pipe in the middle and the outside diameter of that pipe is four and a half inches. So there's not very much styrofoam to begin with. So it's no wonder these things don't work very well. But we're pulling this styrofoam French drain out plus the dirt that was on top of it. Plus we're digging out additional because we believe, you know, in going a minimum of 14 inches. That's a minimum. You know, here we're 16 inches you know, closer to 16 inches. And yes, I mean, certain systems require deeper digs. It depends on how much subsurface soil you're trying to dewater. You know, there's cases where homeowners are asking us to tighten the yard up and they want to go deep and we'll just run French drain, you know, two, three, four feet, no problem. Whatever the request is, and whatever the job is, I mean, you adjust your depth and your width of your French drain for what it is you're dewatering. So keep that in mind because I get a lot of questions. How deep is your French drains? Well, when you watch our videos, you'll see some are wider, some are deeper, and it all depends on what we're you know going for as far as dewatering. What is the dewatering needs? And we build it appropriately to take care of whatever that may be, whatever the request is of the homeowner. So this styrofoam French drain, you know, it, it just went down to a pop-up. Now, we're, we're going to do the same thing. 
we're going to take it down to a pop-up and I'll show that. Of course our pop-up is going to have a turf restrictor plate because we're going to keep the grass from growing over the end of our pop-up and you guys are probably familiar with seeing that if you subscribe to this channel, the turf restrictor plate. We have a plate that protects the pop-up emitter from grass growing over it and it works fantastic because there's nothing wrong with a pop-up. It's the weapon of choice but the problem with the pop-up is the grass grows over a four inch pop-up so quick you blink an eye and you don't even know where it is you can't even find it in your yard so the guys elected to keep that basin in place and that's cool and we went ahead with the six inch pipe because as i've taught you guys in many 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 videos the larger the diameter of any material the stronger it becomes so yes a four inch corrugated pipe in a certain thickness and when you increase the diameter to a six inch pipe in that same thickness, the six inch pipe would actually be stronger. So we're gonna be working on some things in the year to come. We have a lot of things in the pipeline. So one of them is actually going even heavier yet with our four inch high octane. So we'll see how that goes. We've been you know, talking to our uh, rep and uh, Boffman tile and we're gonna see just how thick we can go with this. So right now we're putting our inch and a half round rock on top of a six inch corrugated pipe. This is gonna be plenty strong. The rock packed around this corrugated pipe is gonna protect it. A car can drive over it and its weight is gonna be evenly displaced over a large footprint of this drain because one rock is resting on three rocks and those three rocks are resting on nine rocks and so on. So you spread the load out really nice when you build a French drain, a true traditional French drain. Stone, you know, that's the key. So Francisco's gonna put some blind inlets in here uh, along next to that uh, drain basin that the guys kept in. This is gonna give it more inlet yet. So when you're trying to grip up surface water, the blind inlets are the way to go. You lay this right on top of the non-woven geotextile filter fabric. And then you go ahead and just take sod and piece it around it to hold it in place. It works dynamite. Now, as you guys know, again, if you're watching this channel and you're paying attention and you're not skipping around through the videos, you know that the roots grow through all the holes we punch in this fabric. And then the water moves incredibly fast at that point. So these blind inlets are going to get us to that point. Eventually the grass is going to just grow right over these blind inlets and we don't care. That's fine because that way at that point we're going to have capillary action and gravity in our favor as the water follows those grass plant roots right into our French drain system. So it's pretty cool. If you're new to this channel, make sure to go to French Drain 101. It's a everything you need to know. That's what it's called. French Drain 101, everything you need to know. I did that video, so from A to Z, I covered just about everything in our French Drain, like the blueprint, what we're doing, why we're doing it, the benefits to it. So I find that to be very useful to newcomers, new subscribers. Again, it's called French Drain 101, everything you need to know. All right, so now the guys have the fabric cut so that we don't have a big overlap. See how the stone was right there? You don't want a big overlap because there's holes punched in our fabric. If you have big overlap, those holes are not going to align. So the one side that you fold over the other side, it's impossible to get these needle punched holes to line up. That's not going to happen. So you want to trim and cut any excess and you just want a couple inches overlap and go ahead and use the fabric pins to pin it in. So here's all the sod in place. Here is the blind inlets in place right next to that, that catch basin. So pretty cool. I mean, we're going to grow up all the surface water that's been sitting and hanging around on this driveway. And meanwhile, as the grass grows through the fabric, it's just going to get better and better. And there's our pop-up with the turf restrictor plate. You know, we try to stay two feet off the curb so, you know, that it's not in harm's way when they're, you know, the winter snows, you have the snow plows coming through. All right, everybody, until that next video.